Get ready to experience Jurassic World if it were plastic. Let's look. Welcome to Lego Jurassic World. Our modern, completely safe facilities are host to all kinds of attractions, like our one-of-a-kind gyrosphere or our incredible Mosasaurus Arena. And of course, our world-famous Lego Jurassic World Creation Lab, where we're always pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Curiosity is encouraged, whether you're one of our guests or a member of our staff. Lego Jurassic World would like to remind you we are not liable for any personal injury. Lego Jurassic World, a whole new world of possibilities. The park is open. And that's not all. Well, that is actually happening. Uh, this is coming out June 12th, available in two different packs that are encompassing the Jurassic Park movies all together along with mm. Jurassic World. The quadrilogy, if you will. That's the word? Yeah, that's for four. I kept thinking it was tetralogy. Tetralogy also works. Tet or quad, I don't know. Yeah, just depends on uh, which way you go, Latin or stupid. <laughs> Did I go stupid? No, you went, you went, you went correct, <laughs> I went stupid. <laughs> Let's agree that we're doing great. Yeah. Anyway. Crushing it. Well, the thing is, this looks really, this looks so cute. Sometimes it's hard for me to admit how much I enjoy Lego games. I really liked the Lego Star Wars trilogy, and it's adorable. Yeah. And sometimes it works for many different uh, franchises, including these ones that one YouTuber created himself. I want a Lego Brick Daddy now. Yeah, Brick that Daddy was, would be great. So if that first one didn't get you, I'm sure the first person imagined versions uh, from YouTuber Andrew Films sold you, because it sold me. That looked so much fun. Yeah, I'm almost angry that he made that video because none of those it's games real. are real and happening. I can't play them. So thanks, Andrew. Ugh. <laughs> Andrew's the worst. Way to crush my dreams. There's also a, a Counter-Strike uh, demo in yes. there as well. It's very long. Um, I think it's funny because I don't know if pulling knives on people uh -huh. really works for Huge the... Huge part of the game. <laughs> it, does it work for the cuteness of Lego, though? Uh, yes. Why do you think... Have you played with the pirate set? They have all sorts of cutlasses and sabers. Yeah, but I can't pierce the Lego skin. I mean... You just gotta want it bad just enough. Just have to blow them up. Yeah. Well, I guess if I step on it, it could pierce my skin. Exactly. Legos. That could be a major Nature's part of it. deadliest predator. <laughs> so, with this... Um, we, I mean, it makes me wonder, like, I've definitely played all of those games in their mm -hmm. original versions. Why, I mean, why do I want, why do we want to see it in Lego versions so bad? It you know, looks great. It's, it's the reimagining of it in Lego, something that's so familiar to us. It evokes that sense of childlike play and nostalgia because that was such a big, awesome part of my childhood. And, you know, part of the fun of Lego is, you know, you build the sets as they are, but then the best part was when you'd mix them all together uh -huh. and have, like, knights fighting Aztecs and stuff like that. And this is just another example of that. You have your Lego characters in a new context, and that's exciting. That's true, and I keep buying the minifigs as, uh, like, keychains. I have so many keychains It's an expensive now. hobby. It's, it's so cute, though, and I love it so much. They are adorable. Yeah, I guess I mean, you're right, then. Childlike sense of play. Exactly. Or you just want to buy and own everything exactly. like me. Audience, which of those games would you like to see the most? Uh, I mean, of the fictionalized ones, Jurassic World is coming out very soon. Hold on to your bricks. <laughs> I can't top that. Please subscribe.